Hey, this is Hiker Dude Dad. We are uh, filming live this morning from the Hiker Dude Dad Basement Lounge. Uh, one of my favorite places to retreat to when I'm not in the woods. Um, gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do a gear review. Um, we are going to do basically the best pair of boots I've ever owned. Uh, we are going to review the Topo Athletic Trail Venture. Um, this boot pretty much changed my life. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Um, so let's get into it. Um, first off, Topo Athletic, um, awesome company. Uh, they've been around since uh, 2013. Uh, a guy named Tony Post uh, founded it. Uh, Tony Post Topo, um, pretty clever. Um, he was a runner back in college, hampered by uh, injuries and um, ill-fitting shoes apparently um, after he got out of college he went to work in the shoe industry um, eventually founded his own company and basically the point of topo athletic is to build shoes that are as close as possible to uh, natural barefoot running hiking um, basically you know you get that natural running feel um, but they still have a lot of the features found in traditional running shoes. A little bit of history with me and hiking. Um, back in the fall of 2017 um, is really when I got into it. We were kind of, we went to the Grand Canyon. We took the kids. Um, kids were young at the time. Uh, couldn't really do much with them. But my wife and I saw all these people hiking across, coming out of the canyon after, you know, camping down there or just hiking across or down and to the river and back. Um, so I got inspired. I started hiking. Um, I had a low top Adidas something hybrid hiking shoe. Um, very, when I look back on it, it, it didn't fit. It was too short. Um, toes were scrunched up. Um, so I went looking for something that had kind of a wider, uh, foot, um, and was comfortable. And I live in Pennsylvania, Rocksylvania. I was turning my ankles all the time. So I wanted something with a boot. So I ended up with these dirty guys, the uh, Solomon X Ultra 3 Mid GTX, which is a mouthful. Great boot. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I was looking for something waterproof. These are Gore-Tex waterproof. Uh, it's ankle high. You know, I want to fight these rocks in Pennsylvania. Uh, they're fantastic. Excellent grip. Um, these are very much used. Um, for some reason here with the Solomons, the uh, uglier colors are usually cheaper when you're looking to buy them. So this like mint blue something was very ugly and I could not wait to get mud all over it, but affordable and uh, they were fantastic. I used these for years. Um, they were okay. Um, so they weren't perfect. And a lot of that is because I have what my foot and ankle is specialist has deemed a mutant toe. So what technically is a mutant toe? My mutant toe is symphalangism of the fourth toe on my left foot. Uh, symphalangism refers to an ankylosis of the interphalangeal joints, which is a fusion of the phalanges in either the toes or the fingers. Fingers are fine, no problem, everything bends. Um, basically, if this is my foot, this is my left foot, my fourth toe next to the pinky it's supposed to have three bones. It only has two bones. Uh, the tip and the middle one are fused together. So it is less flexible. It gets, it can't get out of the way of my middle toe. My middle toe steps on it. A callus kind of gradually builds out to the side on that toe and is very painful. Um, your Pinky toes, your fifth toes, symphalangism, very common. 55% thereabouts of people have that, where your pinky toes only have two bones instead of three. 
For my fourth toe, it is way less common. It's only about 5% of the population. Lucky me. And when it happens on your third toe, your middle toe, uh, that is less than 1%. So my middle toes are fine. Um, stiffness, a lack of volar skin fold, and reduced range of motion may be present. Uh, the reduced range of motion is what's killing me. So I'm one of the lucky 5%ers who has this. Um, it's um, uncomfortable. There's a couple of things I can do to help it. Um, a lot of the things I do, I, I lube it up with foot glide, chunks of foot glide between those two toes whenever I go out. Um, if it gets real bad, if it's sticking out real far and, you know, I'm kind of out there and it's hurting, um, I've got these silicone, uh, it's not going to focus, these uh, silicone toe sleeves um, that I can put on the fourth toe, which keeps it to itself and then that, that middle toe kind of slides off the side. Um, when the callus becomes really big, I'll go at it with the pumice stone and just grind it down. Um, I do that with a lot of calluses on my feet. This is, this is phenomenal. It's good to share. It's good to share. Um, so my buddy Jay, he's been in a bunch of my videos here. Um, he, I told him about this symphalangism, mutant toe. Um, yeah, we just call it mutant toe. It's fine. Good with that. Um, he said three words basically changed my life. He's like, you need a wide toe box in your boots. Um, and as what happens when you usually suggest something, I go shopping, start spending money. So he actually recommend the Topo brand. And here we are, Topo Trail Venture. Look at this compared to, okay. So this is the Solomon, this is the Topo. Look how much wider that toe box is. There's, there's so much room on here. There you go. Uh, I can't believe I fit into the Solomon uh, regularly. Uh, this thing is wide, it is roomy. Um, Basically, my toes, instead of, you know, stepping on each other like this, man, they can just stretch and splay out, and it just feels absolutely great. Um, so the Topo, the Trail Venture itself, it is a lightweight, uh, durable boot. It is designed for speed hiking. Tony was a runner. Um, here's the deal. If you want to see a beautiful out-of-the-box money shot of this uh, shoe, go to their uh, website, uh, topoathletic.com. They have beautiful pictures of it. Google it. There's beautiful images of this boot. Um, I've always been kind of mystified why unboxing videos are so amazing and awesome. Uh, it's like, hey, look at this brand new boot. I think it'll work for me, but I don't know. So these guys are three months old. Um, I got them at uh, beginning of June. Um, according to all trails, I have got about over 2000 or over 200 miles on them in three months, over 19,000 feet of elevation in these mud, gravel, asphalt, grass, sand, any, any surface that you can be on. I've been on in these and after three months, I absolutely feel hundred percent confident to share my review on these. For the record, I got US size 13 and the color is orange slash black. They also come in navy slash red. Uh, sizing is half sizes from eight to 12 and a half plus whole size 13, 14, and 15. I chose the orange and black because number one, if you cut me, I bleed Philadelphia Flyers orange and black. I say that as they're against elimination right now. Two, it's good to wear as much blaze orange during hunting season in Pennsylvania as you can. And three, it just looks so damn fly. Look at that. Also goes with the Hiker Do Dad logo, if I do say so myself. So besides the blaze and this glorious huge toe box, the next thing you notice on these babies is the five millimeter drop. Uh, the sole goes from 30 millimeters at the heel 
uh, to 25 uh, millimeters at the toe. Uh, the GTX-3s uh, from Solomon had an 11 millimeter drop. Uh, the sole is a three-piece EVA midsole uh, with the ortholite footbed. Um, these boots are very cushy. It is absolutely like walking on a cloud. Uh, house the traction, uh, excellent grip on these. Uh, they have a vibro mouth sole, and I notice much less slipping on wet rocks and scree. Uh, embedded in this sole is a flexible uh, ESS rock plate, which is necessary in Pennsylvania. Uh, the northern half of the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania is where boots go to die. Uh, rocks uh, aren't just there to be stepped on, they're at angles that try and cut you back. Basically, uh, the cushion traction protection these boots provide um, definitely holds up well to the jagged mess of Pennsylvania. Uh, the weight these register at an even 13 ounces. Um, I thought the GTX 3s were light, but they are actually 15.9 ounces, almost two ounces heavier. Uh, in their defense, the ankle is more padded uh, and they have a waterproof Gore-Tex lining. Uh, brings us to a potential flaw is that these are not waterproof. Uh, we've had a dry summer here in Pennsylvania, so it hasn't been much of a factor. Um, they do have these uh, medial drainage ports here along the side. Uh, so when they do fill up with water, um, they actually, I've seen water come out of them. It's pretty awesome. Um, they work, you know, we just went to Bar Harbor in Acadia. We crossed the Bar Island sandbar during low tide. Uh, one spot wasn't quite out of the water. Walked across some rocks, stumbled, got a full soaker. Um, continued to the island, up the trail, back to Bar Harbor, Three miles later, I remembered that I got my boot wet. Um, the combination of a lightweight merino sock and these shoes um, really kind of get it done. Of course, Topo did release a waterproof trail venture like a month after I bought these. Uh, they feature an Event DV Dry LT one piece upper to keep the water out. Uh, one month after I ordered these. Come on, Tony. Uh, just kidding, you'll be receiving my money for the waterproof ones uh, by the end of October or so. Um, one feature I was kind of on the fence about were these uh, lace locks um, right here. Um, I think at first I wasn't using them correctly and the boots felt pretty loose. Um, you kind of have to unlock the top here, then you can easily move the lace lock. But you can also, you know, cinch them pretty tight here through the foot, move them up like that, and then they're locked in. Then you can adjust your ankle. So you can have your foot at one tightness, your ankle at another tightness. Um, with the wide toe, toe box for me, it is almost a little too wide. I, I do cinch the foot up uh, pretty tight and then kind of a normal wrap around the ankles. Um, so yeah, I definitely love that feature now. So there you go. Uh, that's my review of this awesome boot, the Topa Athletic Trail Venture. Um, yeah, puts up with the rocks in Pennsylvania. It's lightweight, it's durable, wide toe box. Um, if you have a mutant toe also, um, if you just like a big, wide, comfortable boot, uh, this might be for you. It's light, it's sporty, it's phenomenal. Um, just want to say that I was not at all paid to endorse this product. I was not given free shoes or anything like that. Uh, Jay talked me into it, um, went out, bought it with my own money, and I just happened to love them. Um, so I was not paid to endorse it. Not that I wouldn't mind... Not that I'd say no to a free pair of waterproof uh, trail ventures, you know, U.S. size men's 13 in rust slash black. Come on, Tony. Um, 
Hey, if you like what we're doing here, uh, please like the video. Please hit subscribe. Um, I want to keep doing this stuff. Uh, I try and release two videos a week. Um, they range from hiking walkthroughs to family hikes to backpacking trips to, I don't know, anything that comes to my head. Um, so if you like what we're doing, um, subscribe, check back, watch some videos. Um, thank you very much.